I'm showing you how to get Meteor Hack client for the latest Minecraft Java Edition update. That's right, it's 1.21.11. So to get it, you want to head over to their official website, which is going to be linked right down in the description below. It has recently updated over here. We want to simply click on this purple button. You will be brought to an ad page that Meteor Client owns. Don't click on anything here. Wait for the countdown to end in the top over there. It takes about 10 seconds. Then you can press on skip and your download will start. Now, as you can see, I have Meet Your Client in my downloads. And if you do too, then we want to go ahead and simply put this in our mods folder. So to get there, you want to press on Windows and R at the same time. And then the box that pops up, you want to type in app data. Then here you go into the folder called roaming.minecraft and finally the mods folder where you can simply drag in the meet your client mod and once you've done that you can close these up and open up the Minecraft launcher. Inside of the Minecraft launcher it is important that you have the fabric loader installed for Minecraft 1.21.11. If you don't have this yet or you're not sure where to get it then it will be linked down in the description below as well. Anyways, if you do have it, then of course we can just click on play. And yes, it is literally that simple. You'll know this worked if you see the little meet your client watermark up in the top right hand side of your screen. Now I am inside of Minecraft with meet your client enabled. And now if you want a full in-depth usage tutorial, then I have already made that and I'll link it down in the description below. But for right now, I'll just show you how to get started with this client. So to actually get started, you want to press on the right shift button on your keyboard that is going to open up the Meteor Click GUI area. So in here, this basically contains all the utilities, which is all the things that Meteor Client has to offer. We can click on these to turn them on, click on them once again to turn them off, and you can actually right click on these and then you'll enter into their customization menus. This allows you to just do a bunch of customization and one of the most important things here is that you can set a key bind for almost all of these utilities. Anyways, if you hover over these, you'll get a brief description as well, which you can actually also find in here together with a little star where you can favorite it into your uh, favorites list. The rest we have a search bar here you can use if you're looking for something specific and that's basically it for the click GUI. This is like 80% of Meteor Client. Of course, this is a whole bunch, so definitely don't miss out on anything. Another thing about missing out on stuff, in this render tab, you can actually scroll and that exposes two more utilities down here, which are X-Ray and Zoom two incredibly commonly used ones and sometimes people don't realize that they're down there so definitely make sure to check those out as well anyways you might notice in the top here we do have a lot more things as well so we have a config and a gui area which basically just allows you to tune the entire way that meets your client looks and functions which is neat then we also have the hud area which allows you to edit the heads up display as you can see, if I turn this on and then close out of here, I'm going to have some useful things displayed on my screen. In the HUD area, Meet Your Client allows you to edit those. So if I now right click on my screen, I get the Add HUD Element menu and I can add a whole bunch of things to the already bunch of useful things that is available on my screen. I recommend you definitely check this out as well. They're incredibly useful. And of course, if you choose to do so, then you can turn that off again as well just like that anyways meet your client also has a built-in friends menu that you can use to add people just by their username you can actually make macros and profiles as well with meet your client i'm not going to be going too in depth into those but profiles are really useful for saving your current configuration of the client for example with a bunch of customizations you have set you can simply save that and then you could even share it with other people or download other people's configs too Finally, one more thing Meteor Client does also offer are actually chat commands. So in the chat, if you start your command with a dot, you'll actually gain access to a bunch of new custom Meteor Client commands. The great thing about these is that Meteor Client has autofill, so you don't need to know the uh, syntax or whatever. You can simply type the dot and then whatever you want here and you can just autofill on everything. So they're incredibly easy to use, which that's just fantastic. With that being basically most of Meteor Client, I would also like to say that there are actually a bunch of add-ons for Meteor available, like a whole bunch, that allow you to add even more utilities and custom things to Meteor Client. I've made a bunch of videos on those, and if you would like to check those out, I'll link a few of them for you to pick from down in the description below. 
Also, if this video did help you out, then make sure to subscribe. But for right now, thank you all ever so much for watching. And I do, of course, hope to see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye.